Dear FCJ friends and supporters, today I am asking for your help to support the FCJ Retreat and Conference Center or FCJ Christian Life Center, your oasis of peace in the heart of our city. The FCJ Center exists to serve you, your family, your community by providing a variety of high quality programs and services as well as by hosting a variety of nonprofit organizations that use our beautiful conference facilities. In these challenging times that we all hope are moving increasingly to begin post-COVID, our annual giving campaign is critical to us, and we need your generous support. Giving and pledging enable us to continue our exciting and life-changing ministry at the FCJ Center. Along with the rest of the world, the FCJ Center has come through a tough time. The sudden death last December of our director, Denise Deneve, has meant that we at the center has essentially been in transition for the past year. However, the center is still moving forward because of you. We are still here. We're here because of your kindness, prayers, and support. Thank you for your generosity. The center was able to keep almost all its staff and has been fully operational since May. We have had a time of reopening and growth in 2022 that has been wonderful to see. So there's great reason to hope. By the end of 2022, we expect to have new leadership team to at the center, and we are starting a new chapter, a new moment, a new life. On this Giving Tuesday, we are trusting in your gener generosity while asking that you consider donating whatever amount you can give. We want also to invite you to be even more involved in the life of the center. As a volunteer, by attending one of our programs or sharing your ideas or by helping to make the center better known. I would like to share two big works at the center's staff and those who collaborate with us would like to focus on in the coming years. And we cannot do this without your help. The greening of the FCJ Center. One of the most critical and urgent issues we need to address is Mother Earth. At the FCJ Center, we commit to taking part in spreading awareness and living out Pope Francis's encyclical, Laudato Si, the call to care for our common home. A couple of the quotes. The creator of all calls us to practice a new way of living, one that is good and true and beautiful. Paragraph 205. And also, as we delve into Laudato Si' journey, the effects of our encounter with Jesus become evident in our relationship with the world around us. By deepening our contemplative awareness of the whole of creation, we want to help each other to reflect constantly on how our lifestyle decisions, large or small, affect the earth and the poorest people among us. Support for mental health. We're in a time of general crisis around mental health in our society. We are living in a wounded world and more than ever, we need the warmth of a community and support system. We need to listen attentively and authentically and to be present to our loved ones and to the people that need our presence. Through spiritual companionship, spiritual direction, counselling and programmes that support new moms, youth, young adults, the unemployed and others who are undergoing a stressful time in their lives, the FCJ Centre strives to be here for everyone. We have a pool of trained program facilitators and resource people who are experts in their fields 
of work and to share their gifts with the FCJ Centre. The work is always heart to heart, witnessing to what our God has done in our lives and in our world. And all are welcome to join in the story of redemption. We hope to help others make explicit in their lives what is implicit in their hearts. Our spirituality of companionship leads to the scripture image of God as Emmanuel. God is with us. God is close to us. God desires our friendship. God companions with us and we companion with God. We live Ignatian spirituality, finding God in all things, in every circumstance, in our day-to-day endeavours, in the people we meet, in everything. We hope to help others not just to talk to God, but also to listen. Prayer is both listening and talking, an expression of companionship. The FCJ Centre is addressing loud Odyssey and social issues such as mental health, refugees and new immigrants. But we are also addressing the fundamental issue, helping people become their best selves, know their purpose in life, and live a life of truth, enthusiasm and joy. Apart from programming, your financial help will support the infrastructure in which services and programming can take place. Although the FCJ Center building was thoroughly renovated and renewed in 1980s, that is still over 40 years ago. Please consider giving a gift today. Your gift will help sustain the center as a place where people can experience companionship in their life journey. Your generous tax-deductible gift of $20, $250 or more to the FCJ Christian Life Center annual appeal will make a difference. Thank you in advance for your generous support.